So we're coming off a huge 1-0 win against Barnet in the FA Cup fourth qualifying round. Eastleigh in the next round. I know we're all excited for that one. How has the recovery gone since last week? Yeah, very good. Um, another free week, which has been very surprising in the National League. Um, so it's allowed for us to get some rest and recovery into the boys. I think they exerted a lot of energy against Barnet on Saturday. Given them the Monday off to enjoy with their families and to get back in the building on Tuesday. Real good session Tuesday. Another good session today, working on where we feel we can exploit Chesterfield and where their strengths are and we need to guard against that. But yeah, the three weeks are helping out immensely at the minute because I like to train how we play. I like to set the intensity because I think that it gives us that fitness levels that test and we've got a group of lads that buy into that so for me yeah it's been a good week a real good week the focus obviously comes away from Barnet and EC a little bit I did go down to Eastleigh or to Folkestone to watch Eastleigh on Tuesday evening um, just because yeah Folkestone could have potentially progressed but that like I say every week mate the next game's Chesterfield and the focus turns to that and Buzzing, we've got EC coming to town, but we'll work that one closer to the time and get geared up for that, I'm sure. And Chesterfield on Saturday, currently sitting fourth in the National League. They're the third top scorers in the league. Their talisman, a man that we all know very well, Kabongo Shimanga. What are you expecting from him in the game on Saturday? Everything I expected him from me and his football club. Having watched him as an individual, as an opposition manager, it wasn't nice initially, um, but you see where he's so good. And they've got him, they've got Rowe. I believe just listening to James Rowe that they've got a few inju injuries and niggles being Sadio Khan, who's a massive part of their process and what he does in terms of stretching teams and his fitness levels. Curtis Weston is currently injured, Carline's currently injured, but You've still got Olieki to go in, Kellerman to go in, Mandeville to go in, um, McCourt to go in, Jeff King for Carline. He's he's got a squad there that you could put two players for each position, if, if not more. And having watched them, yeah, very good team, very good outfit, um, have good patterns, have good ways of playing. Got two ways of playing with splitting the box and getting the out ball to row. They're a tough test, as is any National League side at this level. Um, two 4 nil wins in their last two games, a big win at South End. Good performance, I watched them against Wrexham and the production that Wrexham put on in terms of their footage was unbelievable. I, it, it felt like I was watching a League One fixture. There was two proper teams going at it, two very good managers going at it. And that's our task come Saturday. We're gonna travel up the A1, because the M1's shut, um, and go to Chesterfield, that, in my opinion, is up there with one of the biggest clubs in the National League. And it's our task to continue doing what we're doing. And that's all that we've been doing recently. And I harp on about it. We can only control what we can control. We only influence what we can influence. And we've got five bits of buy-in that the boys are currently adopting. And if they maintain them, I say it, we don't fear anyone. And we lost Cabs late in the window. Are you surprised how well he's done at Chesterfield, considering he's won Player of the Month and also scored nine goals this season? No, nah, he's, he's a talented individual. We knew what we were getting when we were bringing him in the building from Oxford City. Um, he could probably add to his game here with his one-on-ones, which was a big factor in him not scoring as many as he probably could have. Um, they create chances, all different types of chances. They've got, he's got a player in row that comes under the ball, goes at the top of the box at the time. So it allows them to stretch that defensive unit, which we've spoken about, and he's got spaces to exploit teams in behind. But nah, he's, he's unbelievable. I said to James Rowe when he signed him, um, you'll be signing the best striker in the National League. And I honestly believe that. And yeah, was it nice losing him at the back end of the window? No. Was it the right thing for this football club? 100%. The business that the chairman and Charlie done on cabs is astronomical. The figures that we got for him were crazy. And I won't mind saying that on camera. But 
if that gets Chesterfield out of this division, it's the best bit of business that James Rowe and Chesterfield have done. So, yeah, nah, wasn't, timing wasn't great. Bringing Bowden in was always going to be about having three top quality strikers. We've evolved, we've moved on, we haven't, yeah, Gandhi did look sad. We've just cracked on and got on with it. And that's exactly what this football club is about. We move on together. And I honestly believe that's our strength this year. The togetherness, the willingness of the group to fight for each other, for fight for every point. And you see that with the celebrations you would have watched on Saturday with your camera, the likes of Jamal Fifield, Worthens, Femi Kane, Nathan Ashmore. There's a real togetherness in this group. There's a real togetherness at this football club and that's what we're built on. And we're, we'll be travelling up to Chesterfield ready, ready with, as a group of men to go and put on a performance to warrant three points. And that's exactly what the mindset has been this week. That will be tomorrow, being in the, the final session of this week and the prep, the organisational side of things. And yeah, we'll go up there fully focused to go and get three points. And we'll talk about us, moving on to our side of the pitch. Will Evans and Scott Bowden, both going against their old club. How well, how happy are you with how well they fitted into the team this season? Two proper blokes, like proper, proper blokes. I, um, I think Will Evans has been the best player on the pitch the last two fixtures. I think Bowden's all round game has been unbelievable. Um, and I, I, I'll go back on it, togetherness. The chess room, of course, there's a winning mentality, there's a winning habit, but that's built with the relationships the boys build throughout the week. And yeah, they're a massive part of what we're achieving at this football club. It's nice for them to go back to Chesterfield. Um, I hope they get the applause that they deserve. I don't know the background on it. I don't know what, how they left. Was it sour? But for me, I've asked them to be classy return to their old clubs, respect that it's their old clubs and perform for their new club because the main aim and I keep harping on about it is getting a result and getting three points and getting back on the bus, focusing back to King's Lynn. But going on your question, I think them two, Jacob Mendy, um, Josh Rees, Frankie Raymond, Adrian Clifton, Jack Munns have all come in and added to this group, added to what we had as a nucleus being the Jamals, Femi's, Steve-O's, Ricketts, Kane Smith, Nathan Ashmore's, Connor Smith, I've got to add to that as well, um, in terms of a new recruit. He's an amazing conduit. But I love coming to work every day. I love coming in, working with this group, because they are top people. And that's something that we speak about in terms of our recruitment, that, yeah, players have got to have ability, but they've got to be good people as well. So... Just going back to your original question, really pleased with a pair of them, really pleased with the additions this year, really pleased with the old lads. But yeah, we need to continue what we're doing, continue that work ethic, that mentality, that togetherness, and we won't go far wrong.